Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the print spooler service error 1068, the dependency service or group failed to start. So we're going to go about hopefully resolving this without too much of a hassle, and we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is open up the start menu, so left call and start button one time, type in CMD, Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in this command prompt, I'm going to have a command pasted in the description of the video. I want you guys to copy it out of my description and then go up to the top bar of this command prompt window, right click on it, left click on edit and then left click on paste to paste this command in. Then you want to hit enter. So once that is done, you should restart your computer once the command has run successfully and hopefully that has resolved the issue. Now if you're still having prompts after you've restarted your computer, we can try another thing here and that will be to open up the registry editor. So left click on the start button one time again, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back with regedit. You want to right click on that. Left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now you want to go ahead and create a backup of your registry before proceeding. So go up to the file tab, left click on it, left click on export. You can name this file whatever you want and then just set it to export range to all. Save it to anywhere that you'll be able to easily access it in the future. So whether that be the documents folder or desktop or perhaps an external drive, it doesn't really matter to me. So once you're done saving that and if you ever needed to go back and restore your registry, you just go up to the file tab and then left click on import and you just would import that file. So pretty straightforward. So once you're done with creating a backup, you want to go ahead and expand the HKey local machine folder by either double clicking on it or left clicking on the little arrow immediately next to it to expand the subfolders. Then you want to go expand the system folder in the exact same manner that we did the HKey local machine. Now you want to go down to current control set, expand that one as well. And now go down to services, expand that one. And now you want to go and just go left click on the spooler folder. So you're going to have to scroll down a little bit here. You can also see the path up at the top here so you can follow along what we're doing. Always more than welcome to rewatch certain segments of the video as well. So again, we're just looking for spooler here. Right here should be a capital S. Now, you want to look on the right side until you find something that says depend on service should be near the top. You want to right click on it and then left click on modify. So you want to go change this value in here to RPCSS. So exactly how it appears on my screen. So again, RPCSS, all capital letters here, very important. So once you have it exactly it appears on my screen underneath value data, you want to just left click on OK. And now you want to exit out of the registry editor. Again, restart your computer. Hopefully that's resolved the issue. Now, as a final resort, if you're still having problems, you can also try and run the printer troubleshooting utility that's built into the Windows 10 troubleshooting library. So we're going to go over that one as well. How to do that, we would open up the start menu left one little settings icon on the left side where if you hover over it should be a little gear icon it should say settings you want to left click on that or you could always just go in the start menu and type in settings and you want to go ahead left click on network and internet and you want to scroll down until you get to update and security near the bottom so windows update recovery backup that sort of thing and then on the left side you want to go left click on troubleshoot Underneath Troubleshoot, if something isn't working, running a troubleshooter might help. Troubleshooters can find and fix many common problems for you. So you want to go ahead and select Printer, find and fix problems with printing, and then left click on Run the Troubleshooter. So go ahead and let this troubleshooter run, see if it finds anything here. <laughs>
So I, again, I recommend just letting it continue on here, see if it finds anything else. Okay, so again, if it found anything from the troubleshooting, I'd recommend going ahead and resolving the issues. So again, if there were anything here, I'd recommend following along with what it suggests. I don't have a physical printer installed, that's what's showing here, so just make sure if you have a printer, maybe make sure you update the drivers onto your computer if you have a CD disk, or if you have to go on to the printer's manufacturer's website, you maybe can just download them directly from there. And again, it should be pretty straightforward. I do hope that some of the solutions I went through in this tutorial do produce positive results for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.